Good afternoon. Uh, thank you uh, once again for the opportunity to present some of our research today. Okay, so um, a relevant disclosure, I have uh, uh, work as a scientific advisor for a startup company in Toronto. So uh, there's recently more interest uh, in understanding how distractions uh, impact surgical performance in the operating room. Uh, certainly the American College of Surgeons had issued a bulletin uh, you know, relating to the, the relevant impact of distractions on the operating room and specifically to the patient's safety. And when you look at the literature in simulated settings at least, uh, when surgical residents were faced with auditory and or cognitive distractions, uh, they, their performances were associated with decreased uh, proficiency and speed and uh, associated with the uh, increase in uh, number of errors. However, the, the empiric evidence on the relationship between the distractions and surgical performance in realistic settings such as a live OR uh, is quite limited. You know, for those of us who work in the OR, you know, this list of sources, uh, potential distractions are, is quite relevant to everyone. You know, there are auditory distractions such as the machine alarm, music, uh, you know, people traffic, the, the door opening and closing, irrelevant chat about the weekend and so forth. And then there are cognitive ones such as what to do when the device malfunctions or, or when the device is not available. Um, and certainly, you know, but there's a critical knowledge gap in terms of, you know, how the surgeons process all these different sources of distractions in the OR while they're producing, while they're performing uh, procedures. So our objective is to investigate uh, which intraoperative factors are associated with surgeons' perception of distraction in the OR. To do this, we performed a prospective cohort study of consecutive uh, 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 adult patients who underwent laparoscopic G GI surgery involving one attending surgeon for a two-year period at an urban center in Toronto. Uh, we identified the sources of distraction through the use of the OR black box, which I'll get to. Uh, we also assessed the surgeon's perception of distraction using a human factor survey uh, that was completed immediately after the OR, so there's a limited recall bias. So the intraoperative data capture is done continuously manner. Uh, we uh, capture various data, including the video and the audio, uh, patient physiology and device and sensors, and synchronize them into a single timeline uh, and encrypt this so that the expert uh, reviewers can analyze uh, pertinent data. So that could be translated into a timeline uh, which is schematically presented here with the x-axis uh, showing the case duration from the start to finish and the y-axis showing you know, different pertinent data points including uh, different phases of the operation, uh, technical errors and events, uh, non-technical threats uh, as you know, resilience as well as distractions and who was operating. So in our cohort of 265 patients, uh, our patients had a mean uh, age of 50, predominantly female, and because the OR that was equipped with the equipment was uh, the bariatric room, predominantly four gut bariatric type cases. Here we present the uh, distraction in the OR uh, in the 265 cases, and we, pr we categorize the distractions into cognitive and auditory distractions with the cognitive distractions uh, presented in number of cases that had these cognitive distractions. And teaching sometimes is classified as distraction in the OR, and there are 54% uh, of cases. 34% of the cases had at least one absent or malfunctioning device. 27% uh, of the cases had prolonged the irrelevant conversation to the case. 15% uh, of the cases had the management of another case that's not being operated on. In terms of auditory distraction, it is expressed uh, as a count per case. So the OR door uh, opened the median of 41 times per case with the interqualitile range of 32 to 54. Machine alarm was heard 68 times uh, per case. Loud noise 15 times per case. And external communication devices such as telephone and pager rang a uh, median of six times per case. So 45% of the cases, the surgeon uh, expressed feeling and perceiving distracted during the OR. And when we look at the, and compare the difference between the cases where there was perceived distractions and the cases there weren't, uh, we note, sorry, we noted that the cases where there was a perceived distraction uh, tend to be longer, uh, more likely to have irrelevant conversation, and more uh, and had a more frequent door opening per case. And the patients uh, were more likely to have a patient uh, a history of a previous abdominal surgery. 
And when we ran a multivariable logistic regression uh, relating uh, the, uh, the factors to perception of distraction, we found that the patient history of previous abdominal surgery uh, was independently associated with perception of distraction with an odds ratio of 2.2. And more importantly, uh, any uh, relevant conversation in a, in a case was independently associated with an odds ratio of 2.14. There are limitations to the study. It's a single center study involving a single surgeon, so generalizability is limited. It's at an exploratory stage, uh, and we haven't uh, really explored the impact on the postoperative outcomes. Uh, in order for us to get to the, the sample size uh, needed to do such study, we're using machine uh, learning uh, algorithms to automate the analysis of distraction and intraoperative events. However, there are some takeaways. Uh, auditory and cognitive distractions in the OR occur quite frequently. Uh, and the surgeon in the study uh, felt distracted in cases where there were irrelevant conversation and or when the patient had history of previous uh, abdominal surgery. And you know, probably the most important irrelevant conversation is a modifiable factor that may have an impact on patient safety and every effort should be uh, targeted to uh, develop interventions around uh, to mitigate such uh, risk. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>